So to my surprise, over the last year or so, um, I have picked up quite a few of the Roland Boutique style synthesizers. And um, this wasn't something I was kind of really expecting, but they started releasing several that I was pretty interested in. Um, initially, I kind of wasn't too excited about them, but um, they've started putting out more and more um, here recently. Last year, I picked up the uh, TBO3 and the TRO9 here. Those were my first two uh, boutique style synths. Uh, and then this year, they've come out with the SEO2 and the DO5. Um, I picked these two up um, this year. And I did pick this up this year as well, the, the JX03, only because um, it, they've been discounted by quite a bit. So I figured I'd pick one up for a good price. Um, so yeah, so I have a total of five of these now. And, you know, I kind of want to, e even though they're small, right, and they don't take up a huge amount of desk space, I wanted to try and organize these a little bit better by uh, putting them in some kind of a tier tiered rack. Um, and kind of what I was looking for is something along the lines of um, the Mother 32 style rack, which is what you have here from Moog. Uh, and I've seen people do these kind of for the Volcas, something kind of similar. Um, it looks like this is just probably a metal frame that they've got um, attached here. I haven't seen one of these in real life or anything, so I don't, I don't know exactly. But to have three of these kind of in this uh, type of an arrangement was kind of what I was looking for. Um, so I did check on like eBay to see kind of what's on here. And you've got some kind of DIY 3D printed stuff. Um, this looks like you're actually using the synthesizer as part of the support structure for the rack, which is fine. Um, but I'm not a fan of this particular design. I think this is kind of ugly. Um, yeah, so then, then there's one from KV Gear that I found. Uh, actually watching a YouTube video of some, somebody doing some trance stuff. Uh, and I asked him where he got his, uh, his uh, tiered rack from and uh, this is the one that he picked up so this is a three tier rack from KV gear it looks looks quite a bit nicer than some of the other ones I had seen uh, but again this is kind of not what I'm looking for either so and you know you see in other videos on YouTube and stuff some demos at, at like uh, uh, synth fest and some of those other shows um, like trade shows people showing off these kind of custom racks um, so I decided I have five of these boutiques since now it's time for me to utilize my design skills and make a rack that I want so I'm gonna cut to the design phase again um, if you watched my previous video on pr 3d printing um, replacement end caps for a keyboard stand which is behind me here um, uh, you can check that out, but I'm gonna kind of do the same process here in this video um, So I'll show you the design phase it took me about seven hours to design this uh, So I'll cut to that here and I'll come back here in just a moment
So welcome back. Yeah, so seven hours later, and I've got a design. Um, so, I, and because I'm going to be printing this, um, these parts on a MakerBot Replicator 2X, the build volume is eight inches by six inches or something like that. There's no way I can fit the whole thing on there. It's, it's way too big. So I have, uh, as you saw in the design video, broken this up into a couple of different pieces. It's three pieces per side. Uh, and I've estimated, well, according to the slicing software, which is Simplify 3D, uh, the material cost uh, for, for, the, uh, for the parts is going to be a total of about, I don't know, two, three, four, about four to five dollars per side. So about ten dollars in plastic. Um, I have measured with some calipers the DK01 uh, size. So I've got a good idea of this here. And you saw in the video the design. Um, you know what what these are coming out at, and I, I kind of drew. You know, so we got like four point nine. Four inches, nine hundred thousandths, um, that way, and then just a tape tape measure from here to here to kind of get a rough estimate, which is like twelve and a sixteenth of an inch, somewhere around there, and obviously the thickness. Um, and I kind of designed around that because that's that's the size of the actual shape uh, I'll be utilizing, and yeah, so. This, I, I think, is gonna work out great. Uh, we'll go over to the 3D printer, um, do some time lapse, and I'll show you guys that here right now. So this might be a little difficult to see, but these uh, do press fit in here, and they are f held by friction right now, uh, but not super, super well. Um, so I've got to kind of put these in. Oh, that's, I want that to be the front. Um, and then kind of set the top piece on here. And then from there, um, stand it upright and put the, uh, the synths in. Now again, this will get sprayed in black Plasti Dip. 
just on the plastic parts, the wood's still gonna be sitting out there for in all its glory um, to look like wood. Um, might be worth staining the wood, I don't know for sure, but um, there we go, so we got these. Here is the other half. So this is, uh, you can see, um, just kind of to show you kind of some of the design options. Um, being somebody who worked in manufacturing for a long time, uh, I learned that doing stuff like adding uh, little radiuses that kind of expand out on corners of things when you're going to fit stuff in, stuff like this here where that kind of goes in there, um, to make sure that the corners fit um, and you're not going to have any issues with stuff rubbing up, up in the corners, which can be a problem sometimes. Um, so anyways, that's just kind of a FYI, I guess. Do whatever you want. That's that's what I did. All right, let's get this part. Now this is the tricky part, is trying to line these up. Oh, there goes that one. And that one. And the front one. And the top one. Or this is the front one. Excuse me, got them backwards. There we go. And we're all in here. There we go. So let's flip it around. So this is our base. Just gonna get that in there a little bit better. And it looks kind of like a dresser or something. Then we've got this one that'll go here on the front. And there we go. That's that's the frame. All right, so after some playing around with this thing, um, I had it put together a couple times where it would just stay with friction, but it's been giving me some trouble. So I actually went through, went ahead, and connected uh, some of these screws um, to hold the wood in place, and there you go. There is the three-tier boutique stand. I can get this to down. You can see I've got a nice wood lip here and then at the top. Now this of course um, with the angles that I did this at, I'm not going to have access to the uh, DIN MIDI ports on this middle unit but these will uh, for my particular purposes will be connected via USB like all the time anyway so not a huge thing and uh, this is coming together pretty nicely so my next step here is I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this since this is proof of concept here. This works, all the everything fits. You can see the seams are nice. Everything is riding up right against the edges here and um, looks good. So I'm gonna fill the little spots with the speckling uh, that I need to and then uh, do it in the Plasti Dip in the black. And then put it all back together and it should be pretty. So, um, I'll do that now. So I, it is all done. I have completed this project, this new three tier Roland boutique stand or rack, whatever you want to call it. It has come out just freaking awesome. Check it out. Um, I was thinking about coloring in the uh, screws, the silver screws. Um, but you know, I actually think I kind of, I kind of like it seeing the silver on there, um, from the screws. So anyway, let me give you another shot. So I've rearranged kind of a few things in the studio here. Uh, my desk work space is a lot different now. The boutiques used to populate all back here. Unfortunately, this table really sucks. It's all kind of wobbly and they were kind of all like this, uh, which was just uh, like my kind of OCD in terms of how that looked really bothered me. So. Um, and also I was able to move the, uh, the Nord modular back over here, uh, the micro, uh, modular back over, which is nice. Um, need to get some cables hooked up for it, but, uh, I'd like to revisit this. I did a video about this a while back, but yeah. So, um, I'll probably do a two tier version of this for, for these. Actually, I'm not sure. My girlfriend was giving me shit. Actually. She's like, you, you should just make another three tier cause you're going to buy another one. <laughs> And uh, she's right. I mean, I'm sure I'll buy, I'll be picking up another one of these um, at some point. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Um, did I do a good job on this uh, three tier stand? Um, 
Let's see if I can get a little better front view for you here on the camera. That's pretty sweet, yeah. I mean, maybe a little wood finish or something here. Um, and the Plasti Dip came out nice. It makes it to where the feet are basically rubberized. All this is all rubber. Um, so it, it, it doesn't feel like shitty 3D printing plastic. Uh, although I did use ABS, which is kind of like Legos. And uh, yeah, came out nice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I appreciate your feedback and uh, comments, questions, concerns, etc. You know what to do with all that. Uh, also, I just want to thank all the new subscribers here recently. The channel has been has been growing every day. I'm picking up new subscribers, and it's really exciting to see this channel grow and continue to blossom. If you guys have anything specific you want me to cover about anything, just let me know, and I will do my best to uh, to help you out on that. All right. So this is Marshall, and I hope you have a good week. Bye. All right, a little more amateur hour here with the handheld on the phone. A um, couple things. This is able to slide out. I had to dremel a couple of grooves in there. Came out pretty nice, and uh, that looks good. Um, also, anyone interested in what the back looks like? There you go. A little bit of wood there. Uh, this rack's got wood. So, there's that. Construction is super sturdy. And this thing is 